Hey guys, this is Jason. Welcome back to my channel, Humble Beginnings Homestead. It is getting cold here in Kentucky. Um, we've been getting a lot done at the house today. I want to give you guys a quick tour of the house and show you what's been going on. It's looking more and more like a house and less and less like a disaster. <laughs> but first, we got some chores to do. Like I said, it's cold outside. It's cold in the house. And uh, I've got to move some hay and got to move some firewood today. So let's go get that taken care of and then we'll take a tour of the house. Okay, so like I said, it's uh, today we are doing chores. Um, it's this is a chore that I've been avoiding for for weeks, but it needs to be done. I have been in firewood for the last couple of months. I've tried to get out in the woods and uh, cut firewood. I like to cut and haul my own firewood. I don't like to pay to have it delivered. As long as I'm able to do it, I want to do it. But I've got a really good I've got a really good pile started. This is what I've got to bust. This is what's been busted and has been drying for a few months. So it should be uh, ready to burn. So my goal today is to get this firewood in the dry because right now it's just being rained on. And with that new energy efficient wood stove, it says to use as dry wood as possible. So. This would be a perfect spot to put my firewood. I can back up to it over here, load it up in the truck, take it to the house, bust bust my wood over there. And the only problem is I've got a bunch of crap. <laughs> and this is where I stuck the hay after it got cut this year. So I think I think what I would like to do. I've got a hay shed in the very back of the property. I think I want to move the hay to the hay shed. And then we will load the firewood up, truck load by truck load, get it dumped in here. I'll have a dry place to work and my wood will have somewhere to, uh, to sit out of the weather. So that's what we're doing today. We'll get this taken care of and then we will um, take a look at the what we've done in the house.
want to check this live trap real quick. Me and my little buddy set a live trap up the other day. We saw rabbits over here in this brush pile. He wanted to try to catch him a rabbit. There's the trap. And no bunny. I think we'll have to uh I think we'll have to move that thing into a different position see if we can't catch a rabbit but back to moving hay All right, guys, hay is put up. I think I'm going to break for lunch and then maybe come back and start on the wood. And I haven't forgotten. You guys want to see the inside of the house. I know we're getting there, I promise. But my philosophy is when it's daylight outside, you're working outside. I like to work on the inside of the house when it's dark outside. So I'm getting things done during the day and at night. But I'm gonna grab a bite to eat real quick and then we will get back to the show. Okay, just got done with lunch. Let's go, uh, let's go put up some wood. It is supposed to rain starting tonight or tomorrow, so I'm really trying to get this wood put up today. They're starting to get cold, or at least burning a fire at night. So I want to get this wood uh, put up so it doesn't uh, soak up all the rainwater. Nosy neighbors. But all right, let's get this done. I think this will be a good home for the firewood. It'll keep it good and dry. If you're curious what kind of wood we're burning, we've got a lot of hardwood in Kentucky, and that's what I've been cutting. Got a little bit of white oak, um, some ash. I 
think, some elm. And one other one. Might be some cherry mixed in there somewhere. I know I've got about four, four different types of wood that I've cut this year. All these trees were down. So they were already dead. Typically you want to cut your firewood a year in advance so it'll season out. And seasoning out is just drying or curing. And like I said, these trees were already down. So they're already dead. And I just cut them up and split them. We've been burning it so far and it's been doing a really good job. So it's uh, good and seasoned as far as I can tell. Where we're living now, our old house um, also has a wood stove. So we, we choose to burn wood over there, but we also choose to burn wood here. This house is full of electric heaters and all that stuff and the gas fireplace, but we choose to burn wood. And the reason we choose to burn wood is, is really simple for a couple different reasons. One, it's cheaper. I know people that are paying anywhere from four to six hundred dollars a month to heat their house well for a lot of people that could be a two weeks paycheck so they work half a month to heat their house so wood is cheaper especially if you have the ability to go out and cut your own wood I've been cutting wood for years I enjoy it it's a form of exercise for me I like being out in nature I like being in the woods Gives me some time to be alone with my thoughts and and uh, get away from the stress of the world. We also burn wood because in case of an emergency, we still have heat. We can do without lights. We can do without a lot of things. But you can't do without heat in the wintertime. you got to have it. And the wood stove like I've got, it's got a blower on it, but it doesn't have to have the blower running to push out heat. The heat will naturally rise out of the stove into the living room and heat that room. Worst case scenario, we can shut every room in the house off. We can take sleeping bags and pillows into the living room. And we can all sleep in there together as a family and stay warm. But the, I can also cook that type of wood stove. Again, if you're without electricity, I can put a cast iron skillet on top of that stove and make a one pot meal and I can do it several days in a row. Um, you can boil your water, make coffee, whatever you need to do on top of that wood stove. But I'd say the biggest reason we burn wood is there's no heat like wood heat. There's several forms of heat. There's gas heat, there's electric heat, and then there's wood heat. Um, we've had central heat and air in the past, electric central heat and air, and it just seems like you just can't get warm enough. Wood heat, When you walk in the house and it's 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 toasty warm, it's 20 degrees outside, the first place you go is to that wood stove. You warm up your hands, you warm up your body, and you huddle around that stove for a little while. And then you have family stop by. And when family stops by, they come in the front door, they go to the front the, to the wood stove, and they heat their hands and they heat their body. And it's just, it's, it's a gathering place. It's, it's, 
there's just no heat like it. You know, it, it warms your bones. And that's what we like most about wood heat. Accomplished, wood is gone. I still got this pile left to move, but we're gonna need to get a wood splitter and split that up before we move it because I'm not moving those big, big heavy logs again. But, so those chores are done. I appreciate you sticking with me this far. As promised, we will go take a look at the inside of the house. done a lot of work inside it's changed a lot it's definitely getting there it's not done but it's getting there um, and I'm sorry I haven't picked up the camera I just get so in the zone that uh, I totally forget to pick up the camera or I think man this isn't worth recording something silly like that so but yeah Let's take a look at what's changed. Okay, fair warning, it's still a mess in here. <laughs> the house is under construction, it's gonna be a mess, but uh, we'll go ahead and up you, update you guys on what has changed. So the first thing that's changed, I don't think you all saw it last time, but we put in a new door. There was a 32 inch door right here. I widened the opening, made fit a 36 inch door in here. Um, we have got all new ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. So all new ceiling fans, we've ran all new electric. We're starting with insulation. This is unreal. So there's the, the two by four in the corner. There's nothing here for like four feet. And then there's a two by four here. And then there was nothing until this window and then this one. So this entire wall, there was like five, four, yeah, four two by fours um, total. This wall here, there isn't a single two by four in it. There's nothing. There's the two by fours on the corner and then this crooked two by four. And that's it. I don't know what's holding this wall up. I don't know how those windows are even in there. That, that just blows my mind. But we're, we've, we've, so this wasn't gutted last time. Uh, we've got the living room gutted. I've got all the window sills replaced. If you guys can see that. Um, all the window sills were rotted in the house except for these two because they're under the porch. But we've gotten those replaced. Like I said, gutted. We're running electric and insulation in here. The biggest thing that's changed is we've added this wood stove. I'm really excited about this wood stove. It's doing really well, putting off a lot of heat. Um, this wall has come down. <laughs> now that's just temporary. This was not a load bearing wall. Um, it's going back up, but the floors had to come up. So this wall had to come out so that we can change these floors. Uh, spoiler alert, the subfloor That was bad in the bedrooms is the exact same subfloor that is underneath the living room. And as soon as I stepped on this, I fell through. So the living room floors have to come up too. Uh, but that's where that old chimney was. So the old chimney came out. I've started framing. I've started framing for this closet, we've got a hallway now. So I framed for a hallway. We're putting up drywall. Bella's room is drywalled. 
It is completely drywalled. I just need to finish it. I built her a closet. So she's actually got a light in her closet. Pretty decent sized closet. Again, all new window sills. Those have all been replaced. New electric uh, in the ceiling and in all the outlets. And then of course, our room. Our room's a little, it's been a little slow, but we have got the, this wall insulated, new electric. These window frames were so bad after the house was jacked up that the windows were actually crooked. I think I showed you that in one of my last videos. These had to come out completely and be straightened and then reinstall these windows. Um, we've got a little shiplap going up. That's where the, the TV is going to hang. And then I'm going to build a custom uh, desk right there for a small home office. So I thought it would be kind of cool to put some shiplap up. But of course, we got drywall going up there too. So the next project is I definitely want to finish the insulation on this outside wall. Um, it, like I, I've said before, it's starting to get cold. And... Uh, the house is doing well as far as holding heat, but there's still a lot of, there's drafts and leaks that I'm finding. So I'm hoping if I can go ahead and at least get these outer walls insulated and under drywall, it'll stay a whole lot warmer in here. And then, uh, yeah, so that's the next project is to, to finish framing over here, insulate, run the electric in these two walls, and then hang drywall and then I'll get back to my room um, finishing framing out these closets hanging drywall and then getting electric ran and drywall on that wall I did go to Lowe's today and set up a detail for the carpet installers so the carpet installers are supposed to come out tomorrow measure for the bedrooms the flow said they're about three weeks out so Fingers crossed, I can have all this drywall framing and done within the next two or three weeks and then carpet's coming. And that's, that's like a finishing touch. It's like icing on the cake. It's, it's really starting to feel like it's <laughs> coming together. So, but that's the tour. We haven't done anything in the back. Um, it still is the way that it is, but we're moving along. Um, you know what? I don't even know if there was floors in here last time I, I walked you guys through the house. So I have brand new joists and subflooring <laughs> in the in the bed in the two bedrooms, the hallway. There's new joists, new subflooring. I don't know if I've showed you that yet. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. It's kind of a long video, but it was a busy day here on the farm. It was things that had to get done before it starts raining. As always, thanks for as always, if you want to keep up with what's going on, please hit that subscribe button. Flick that notification bell. That'll give you guys a notification every time we do post a new video. And if you have any comments or questions, drop that down in the comments section below. I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.